Hey guys, Alistair Cunningham here. Uh, so on this week's video, I'm, I'm going to be talking about what should we be doing during the coronavirus outbreak um, and what should we be doing to keep ourselves busy and to keep ourselves sort of um, energised and, and actually like ready to go back to work when it all comes when it all comes good because let's face it look this is here world is going to go back to normal that that's just what happens this is not armageddon um e even in armageddon the world went back to normal after bruce willis saved the day um so listen listen we will get there okay we're just going to have to accept it for the next however long we're going to have to have some restrictions we're going to have to have some um some love some support and some you know some uh, some some uh, restraint um so business as normal is is not the case it's just not the case at the minute um so what can we be doing uh, during this time to stay energized um to keep going to keep our businesses going to just feel good about stuff um and not get into a, a depressive sort of a lull and a depressive um sort of hideaway type environment um now the first thing i think you need to be doing is i think you need to be trying to stick to your routine as much as possible um and what i mean by that is if you normally get up at eight o'clock in the morning still keep getting up at eight o'clock don't stay in bed all day um i i find that when you stay in bed all day it actually makes you really bad uh, it makes you feel really bad it makes you feel grotty it makes you feel down um, and I think that, that that's the first thing you need to be doing. I think you need to stick to your routines, whatever that routine may be. Me, may be. Um, and if it means you getting up at 7.30, get up at 7.30 and continue your, your day as you would normally do so. Uh, so for me, I wake up between 7 and 8 o'clock and I always get up as soon as I wake up. I don't tend to lay in bed. Um, so I get up and... I always have a shower first thing. I don't know why. I just my 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 routine is I always have a shower first thing in the morning. So that's not going to change because I'm working from home. Um, I'm going to get up, have a shower, and then I'm going to go into my office, catch up with some emails, do what I've got to do, um, and then and then stick to your routines throughout the day as well. Um, so you can't don't don't get into the the habit of just sitting on the sofa watching Netflix um, and um, yeah, not not really doing a lot um, because. Believe it or not, this will be over very quickly. Um, it'll be over as quick as it came, I, I, am, I imagine. I'm no expert, okay? I imagine. Um, so you need to make the most of your downtime. Uh, we're all gonna have a lot of downtime here. So by all means, rest for a few days, but then get straight back into it. Um, get straight back into it. Don't, don't be that person that sits and does nothing for six weeks and then suddenly we're all back at work and you're like you've wasted six weeks eight weeks however long it may be you've wasted that that part of your uh, your life because uh, you're busy watching netflix or you're busy <laughs> moping about the world and and um, moping about how the world's about to end and all that sort of stuff uh, listen at the end of the day the world is not going to end um we're all going to get back to normal it just might take a little bit of time um so remain positive be active um, and, and be proactive in your business. Um, I keep hearing people saying that their businesses are going to fail and things like that. Yes, there will be businesses fail, but the people that will save their businesses are the people that get out there and are active and proactive about their business and working on their business. So don't stress too much about it. Just make sure you're doing as much as you possibly can to keep your business afloat. For instance, in our training business, we're moving a lot of our training online. Um, now, it's something we've been doing for the last six months anyway, so all this has done is speed, speed it up for us. Um, so do as much as you can online. You don't have to cancel meetings. You can use Zoom calls. You can use webinars. Um, now, one of the things that I'm doing for all of our academy members at the minute is I'm offering them a, a completely free one-to-one uh, -one webinar with one of our training team. Um, so if they've got any, any queries or any issues, um, any stumbling blocks or if they just want to be in the right environment if they just want that kick up the butt to get them off the sofa um, i'm offering a one-to-one -one time on a webinar to sort of try and inspire them a little bit to like not be so not be so down in the dumps and, uh, and, and negative and um, it's, it's a, it, it, i understand this because i've been there it's very very easy to fall into that um negative downbeaten mindset when things like this happen but you've got to remain strong and you've got to keep going because this will get better believe me this will get better
Um, so first thing is stick to your routines, uh, morning routines, daily routines, remembering to eat healthy, don't eat um, rubbish all day because if we're not allowed to go out and exercise and, and, and burn it off, we'll end up all just putting loads of weight on and the, 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 national, the national crisis of obesity will go up as well. I mean, I'm guilty of that, so I'm not, I'm not sitting here uh, preaching saying I'm a health fanatic, I'm really not. Um, but uh, even I'm, I'm, I'm being careful with what I eat over the next uh, the time when we're isolated, etc, uh, etc. Et and also, um, it's just, it makes you feel better. It makes you feel much, much better. I find when I eat healthier, I actually feel better uh, and, and, and feel cleaner and all that sort of stuff. So it's, it's really good to eat healthy as well. Um, Next, number three. Uh, so first thing is stick to your routine. Second thing is eat healthily. Um, third thing is try and do a little bit of exercise at home as, as well. Um, even if it's just a case of running on the spot or um, I don't know, some press ups, some sit ups, some um, just anything. Um, I, I go and see a chiropractor three times a week um, and I'm going to keep doing that while, while the, the surgery is open. Um, I've actually, I'm just parked outside the chiropractors at the minute and I'm gonna keep doing that. And uh, one of the exercises he's given me, he wants me to do, um, is he wants me to do a, a wall sit, uh, which basically means just sitting against the wall and he wants me to do it for a minute a day. Um, the reason being, and this is good advice for everybody, if we're working from home and we don't have proper desks and proper chairs, let's just say you're gonna work from your sofa or your bed or whatever, um, your your back will be the, the, the posture will be what, what gets the most damage. Um, and just in two or three days where I've been working from home, I've been working from my sofa. So I've been sat on my sofa working and even the chiropractor said to me today, he goes, you need to be very careful of your posture because um, he felt it down my spine, um, how you're sitting. So posture is really, really important. Um, if you have got a place where you can go, such as an office with a desk and a chair, that's even better. So it gives you somewhere where you can go, where you can isolate yourself to work um, and not be distracted by everything else that's going on in the household if your families are at home. Um, and also don't become a workaholic. Um, schedule the hours that you're going to work, work them hours and then have the time off to spend with your family and, and uh, enjoy, enjoy being at home. Um, but really, I think a few basic good habits uh, over the next couple of months will see a lot of businesses survive and they'll also see a lot of people come out, come out of it um, in, in good shape, do you know what I mean? So um, I think um, the biggest thing is remain positive, stick to routines um, and just try and remain as healthy and as active as possible and connect with people. Stay in touch with people, stay in touch with your friends, stay in touch with relatives. Uh, use this opportunity to, to, to contact that person you've not spoke to for a long, long time and just say, look, hey, how are you doing? How are you doing? Um, and yeah, offer help and support. Um, so listen guys, I, I hope you found uh, my take on it useful. Um, I'm sure some of you will disagree with it and I'm sure some of you will agree with it. Either way, it's just my opinion. Um, you're all entitled to your opinion just like I am. So guys, click on subscribe. If you want to keep see these videos every single week, click on subscribe and you'll get them every single week. If not, uh, watch next video and I cannot wait to see you then. Uh, so guys, have an amazing week. I will catch you next week.